Well, tonight we'll be focusing on this. I have in our studio three of our reporters who have witnessed the violence firsthand. They were attacked for doing their job, but they're here tonight to tell you the bigger story. What's happening in Northeast Delhi tonight? And currently, let's go across to Sunakshi, who's reporting from GTB Hospital. This is the hospital where the people injured are being brought in. Also, dead bodies are being brought in. Sunakshi, we know that 10 people have lost their lives already. What is currently the situation there? What do you know? Well, Sonia, the confirmed information I can give to you right now is that 11 deaths confirmed at the GTP hospital. This comes straight from the medical director I spoke to. In fact, that is something we can play up right in, in a few minutes. But 11 deaths have been reported here at the GTP hospital. The medical director has clearly dismissed any rumors that has been doing the rounds on social media regarding, uh, regarding 30, 35 deaths uh, from GTP hospital. The medical director has clearly told this to NDTV just a while back that uh, it is only 11 deaths. However, he has made it very clear and categorically stated that GTP hospital is now uh, has now become overloaded and that they have activated the LNJP hospital, uh, which is why he also told us that it is very important for us to come out, which is them, the GTP officials, uh, the medical director, to come out and give this bite, which is why he told us, the media present here at the GTP hospital, that it is 11 deaths. Uh, the number of injured in the last 24 hours, of course, is now rise, risen up to uh, over 150. Maximum number of people who have been brought in here to this hospital um, have compl have symptoms, have sh have causes of um, stabs, stab injuries of, of being shot on their on their leg, some part of the body. So it's gunshot mostly, gunshot wounds with which uh, the uh, patients have been admitted here. Uh, one other thing that I would uh, uh, would like to highlight for our viewers and for the benefit of our viewers on this is the medical director telling us that even a minor a minor has been admitted there have been uh, admissions of minors uh, as a part of this ongoing um, admissions of uh, of the injured from the protest sites nearby so the medical director to NDTV I can tell you as of now uh, has confirmed to us that 11 deaths have been confirmed thank here at the GTP thank hospital. Thank you Sanakshi. so tragic news coming in there one more person confirmed dead 11 people now dead 11 individuals, lives of them and their families now shattered. Let me go across now to three of our reporters who've been out on the field today. Now, these are reporters. This is not about their story. This is about India's story, Delhi's story, because they're just um, some amongst the brave journalists who are out today and tonight telling the story. Now, they were attacked for doing their job. I'd like to start uh, with you, Arvind. Just describe to us what happened. And of course, we are being extremely sensitive not to inflame the communal situation. So. In a sense, maybe let's not focus on that, but just describe to us what happened, what you saw. Sonia, after covering a violence at uh, Karawal, Nagar, we started moving towards Gokulpuri region. That's when we got an information that uh, there is a class that is going on between two communities at Meet Nagar. So on our way back towards uh, Meet Nagar, we saw a group of men walking towards the Meet Nagar flyover. Right next to the flyover, there is a religious site. Mm -hmm. So that's why we saw a group of men, uh, mostly with sticks, standing there trying to break that particular building. So when we saw that, so I thought of going and taking that particular visual because yeah. we, we could couldn't take our cameraman with us because do, uh, we do know that people the moment they see a cameraman they the moment they see a camera they are turning violent so this mm -hmm. time me and along with our colleague uh, Saurabh Shukla and also one another uh, reporter from another uh, channel that is Runjun we all three we started moving towards that particular site to to, to see what what exactly is happening. So the moment I saw uh, all these people trying to break that particular building, so I started taking whistles. By then, I saw one man started approaching towards me. He started giving signals. So all of a sudden, around 20 to 25 people, they surrounded me, they started attacking me. Even without asking me what exactly, what we were doing, they started attacking me. The so they're just attacking you because you're a journalist? and they. And yeah. when this mob was roaming, where were the police or what was happening? That, that's a very interesting question, uh, uh, Sonia, because the first question, the moment all this, the entire uh, mob uh, surrounded us, the one thing they asked us, are you journalists? Why are you taking video? The moment, the very second interesting question is, they asked about my religion. That is completely baffling. Also, a few minutes before, we also have that visual, I think we can play that visual, where when we started walking towards that uh, Meethanaga, that particular uh, site, mm -hmm. we saw two policemen in two bikes, going along with the same mob around 10 to 14 people holding sticks they were walking in the same highway mm -hmm. two policemen they were on the bike they were they were going 
they were going along with them and they, they took a U-turn and they, uh, they went. It looked like these two policemen, they guarded this, this entire 10 to 14 people with sticks. They guarded them to the uh, Meeth Nagas, that particular site, and then they vanished. They took a U-turn and then vanished. For so you're saying that policemen were actually on a motorcycle along with these mobs. They were on, uh, the two men were there on a policeman on a motorcycle along with these mobs. And they said, you said that they asked you their religion. Saurabh Shukla, if you can come in, because you actually were there, you saw Arvind being attacked. Arvind was actually punched in the face. He was punched in the face. His teeth are broken. He's very bravely here in the studio tonight. And Saurabh Shukla, again risking his own safety, came back along with another young woman reporter to save Arvind, to stand with their colleague. Saurabh, you got out because they identified you as Saurabh Shukla. Tell us more about that. In fact, when <clears throat> they held Arvind, they started throwing punches and he was, uh, uh, he was grounded and he was bleeding. So I thought I was just uh, 50 meters away from uh, where he was, they were beating uh, Arvind. And then I ran towards Arvind and uh, uh, they were about to land a stick on his head. So I took that stick on my back and they thrown punches on my back because they wanted to uh, almost, uh, they thought that he has all the footage and uh, uh, they, they got a sense that he's a journalist. But uh, uh, then I told my name uh, and then they suddenly realized that, you know, I, they relate to the community. I relate to <coughs> their community. And then they stopped beating me also. They were they started throwing punches at me. Then they stopped beating me. And uh, then they asked my name. And uh, I told him that he doesn't know Hindi. He, he, he said that I'm from Tamil Nadu. I don't know. And we did not uh, reveal that from which channel we, we are. And then uh, they, uh, they, I have to, they said that, you know, you have footage and we will not allow you to go anywhere from here. You have to delete or else we will throw you from uh, the flyover. We were right at the flyover. By that time when they, con they were convinced about my religious identity, they stopped beating they him actually, up. They actually asked to see your Rudraksh as yes, well. Yes, yes. I had to show, they, they, what, what are you wearing? Then I have to show my Rudraksh so that you see, I'm a, uh, I'm a practicing uh, Hindu and I'm practicing uh, Brahmin for that matter. And then they said, Ki, you are, a, despite from uh, being from our own uh, community, you are doing this, which is highly uncalled for. Then they have taken my phone. So I've given them my phone. They can leave his phone because he had that some sensitive footage on mm -hmm. his phone and they've started deleting. By then, they were slightly mild because that female reporter was there and she was literally pleading that please leave these people, these two people. And uh, then says they deleted everything from my phone. So, so Runchun Sharma from CNN uh, News 18 also there helping. But let me just ask Saurabh, in fact I want to play it. What is the footage they wanted you to delete? Let's just look at what Saurabh Shukla reported from Karawal today at great risk, at great risk of their lives just so that Delhi and India can see the real story. All is not well. Let's just play the pre-recording Saurabh Shukla did this morning. So just an example there of what was happening not just this morning, it's still happening in parts of Delhi, the situation is not under control tonight as we speak. I want to bring in Mariam because Mariam again We've seen it's uh, been reporters, whether the, I mean, gender irrelevant in this, it's been men, women, everybody's been a target of the mob today. You were hit as well. Yes, Sonia, but I must say that compared to my colleagues here, I've gotten away scot-free almost because what they faced was far greater. And in fact, what happened with us was we had, in fact, wrapped up our shoot. We were going to the home of a good Samaritan who had offered us a glass of water because we were out in the sun all day. And suddenly, um, I think they identified... Uh, one of our colleagues said that we were from a particular channel. Mm -hmm. There was a guy who st stood on the divide in the middle of the road yelling that these people are from NDTV. And then before I knew, the crowd started coming in. And um, I got hit from behind. I did not see who hit me or how. We, Like I said, we had wrapped up our shoot by then. And um, it was... we. I was fine. I went back. We went to the person's house. We had a glass of water. It's only when I sat down that I realized... You know, I might have had a blow because I was suddenly bent over in pain. Right. So as, as I just said, that this is not just about our three reporters. This is just represent. They could get out of there. What about the people who are currently living there? What about the young people, the children who are giving board exams, the elderly, those who can't get out of there? Let's just bring you a glimpse of the report sent by our brave reporters through the day today.
when we went there, when we switched on our camera to shoot, which was all of a sudden they started pelting stones at that, and that's why even the police officer who have been deployed that that uh, that senior police officer he asked that it's not safe for you all, so they asked us to move towards this side. और ये देखिए यहाँ पर पत्थरबाजी की जा रही है और ये देखिए वहाँ पर पुलिस के जवान हैं जो रोकने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं और ये पत्थर फेंके जा रहे हैं कि सीधे जो तस्वीरें हैं हम आपको मौजपुर इलाके से दिखा रहे हैं to show the situation right now the roads are deserted if you can see all the all the shops in this particular area all the shops are closed shutters are down of each and every business here sporadic uh, incidents of uh, our people coming out of their homes but most of the people are staying indoors हम इस वक्त दिल्ली के भजनपुरा इलाके में हैं और ये वो पेट्रोल पंप है जिसे कल उपद्रवियों ने आग के हवाले कर दिया था ये तस्वीरें हैं पेट्रोल पंप की ये पेट्रोल पंप पूरा जलकर राख हो चुका है यहाँ तोड़फोड़ की गई और यहाँ पर जो तमाम गाड़ियाँ थीं उनको भी जलाकर राख कर दिया गया है तमाम ई रिक्शे हैं जिनको जला के राख किया गया है तमाम कार हैं जिनको राख किया गया और सीधी तस्वीरें जो है भजनपुरा इलाके से हैं आप देखेंगे आपको सिर्फ और सिर्फ टूटी और जली हुई गाड़ियाँ दिखेंगी We are in Gogalpuri area of northeastern part of the national capital right now. Behind me is the tyre market which was up in flames yesterday. Smoke has engulfed the entire area. And this is not just Gogalpuri. Uh, all the areas nearby, be it Chandbagh, be it Karawal Nagar, Bhajanpura, each and every area is witnessing some kind of uh, uh, clashes between people, a uh, clash between uh, pro and anti-CA protesters.